I'm primarily a printmaker, artist, sister, friend. My art involves a lot of layers and colors, um, really bright colors against dull colors and patterns and very strange figures that may or may not exist in the real world. My first community here at the University of Dallas and um, I met, that's where I met Courtney Miles um, who's an alum and she put me in touch with Archon, um, the first go around where they do the largest auction um, and then after that I just started doing seed events and it feels really good to be community orientated in that way. It's kind of something that I'm, I'm addicted to and I, I don't know if it's like a personal addiction but um, it's definitely something I think you need um, to thrive. Right now I'm working out of the University of Dallas where I'll be finishing my Master of Fine Arts degree and then heading out to, heading out to the world to take over. The cool thing about prints, even if they are perfect, technically these are exactly the same, right? Um, they're like people in that way. They're exactly the same but a little bit different. Yeah, so the artwork I produced originally for ArtCon um, was kind of varied. Um, I, at traditional art cons, um, not the seed events, I have tried to do traditional printmaking techniques, um, including stencils um, on wood, um, and then the seed events, I've kind of tried doing more experimental things that I've had interest in. Um, so one year I tried um, making more of a sculpture project, and the next year I tried doing more of a performative piece, um, including various amounts of clothing from different people and then weaving them together um, to create one piece, um, which I feel like ArtCon does. So. It's always nice, I think, to see the same people again and again to feel like you do belong somewhere because as, as a, like an outsider coming into town, it's very easy to feel detached and it's very easy to feel by yourself. Um, so the friendships have been nice in that way to make you feel like you have more of a connection here. Um, but most recently, I think just in meeting um, people like at the Cattle Gallery and having them reach out to me and work back with them, um, that's been really wonderful to build a connection with a gallery that I probably wouldn't have had um, just on my own or just been able to reach out um, and say, hey, I'm an artist, like, will you look at me? Like, because um, so many artists right now are trying to do that, I think. And, I'm just one of them, so. I feel like every time there's always someone new that it comes in um, that brings something fresh because um, they haven't seen what's been happening, so they just bring in whatever fire that they've been working with, and so it's nice to see that fire. I know that I'm doing it for free, and I know that I'm not essentially, like, if you're looking at it from a business point, you could definitely say, but you're not getting anything out of it, and there's nothing coming your way, but I don't believe in that. Um, I believe that if you're ever given the chance to do a kind thing, that you should do it, and I think that ArtCon is the most tangible way um, that as an artist, you can give back, because um, you're donating your talent, and even if you don't have a lot of money, like a grad student, um, but you have time and you have energy to do it, then, then you should always give um, whatever you have. For me, that's time and talent, I guess. But honored above all else, I think. Real special.